Should we try to open one with a sword? Sure. Ah! Oh! Nick Drinks. Hey everyone, this is Nick Britsky for Nick Drinks. We are here at the Nick Drinks Studios in lovely Ferndale, Michigan, where I am joined by Seth, who is our technical director of Nick Drinks. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you every day. Nice to see you every day as well. <laughs> and we are going to be sampling some curious elixirs uh, that are a couple different flavors. We have number two and three. There is a number one that exists as well, which is an old fashioned flavor, but we're going to be sampling the number two which is a uh, dark and stormy meets uh, margarita. And then the number three, which is a limited edition, which tastes kind of like cucumber. Um, and I'm sure there's some other fun flavors in there as well. Mm -hmm. Great, so let's get to work. The only comment you made is that the glass seems thin. Yeah, when you tap on it, it sounds thin. Can you hear that? Now it could be, could be fake, I don't know. Could be fake. Well, we've already opened one of these bottles. So we opened a three and that was lovely right here. I don't know if you can see this, this beautiful pour right here. But with the two, we opened the bottle and um, there's nothing poured yet. And the reasoning why is um, the bottle broke. That's pretty so, unfortunate. You don't want a, a broken bottle. No. And, um, you know, at least when you saber a champagne bottle open, you have the bubbles that expel the, um, the broken glass. I, I don't want to drink out of this. No, probably shouldn't. It's not safe. No. So um, for, we're going to open up our, our sample number two, which is going to screw up my photos. Um, do you want to do the honor since I screwed up the last one? Oh, God. <laughs> do I know how to use a, a bottle opener? I hope so. That sounded good. Yeah, it didn't break. Okay, good. Okay, so that's good. Here, you pour it. All right, so this is the number two. All right, curious elixir number two is the spicy love child of the margarita, the dark and stormy. Keep cold, invert gently before opening. We didn't do that. So All right, number two. Number two. What, what, is is this, what is this again? Sparkling soda. Flavor? Margarita, love child of margarita and dark and stormy. Okay. Some herb I smell, other than that. Ooh, not a lot of sugar. Um, not much at all. Mm. I get sour. A, I get sour. Yeah, yeah, I definitely get sour. There's a haze uh, that you can see in it. Oh, what is that? There's something I taste. Eucalyptus or cactus or something like that? The ginger is very prominent. Maybe maybe like a like a lemon peel or a lime peel yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah. Something citrus. All right, so this is number three Number now. three, mystery, uh, mystery flavor. Ooh, cucumber. Yes, cucumber. Cucumber. That's about it. Yeah, it is straight up cucumber. Has just a little bit of viscosity. Just a, just a tiny, teeny, tiny bit. I don't um, feel that. Yeah? It seems very... It's just a mouthfeel, like a little bit of a... Very a watery to me, and I don't mean that negatively. I just mean well, clean. Ever, it feels like, clean. Cucumber water is really watery. Mm-hmm. This is good, too. Because <clears throat> this is soft. This I feel like is, you taste the cucumber, but it's soft. It's not, it's very clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't linger on your tongue. Yep. This stays with you. Yeah. This is, is, it's a little bit denser. The flavor is a lot more potent. So you're making a meal. This is your first pairing. This is your second pairing. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know enough about pairing. <laughs> so um, the way they are positioning these is four for $35. And they are saying that it's two servings in them each. So that's at about eight seventy-five a bottle, and then um, for if you do eighty-nine, you'll actually get a case, which they're positioning as twelve servings. So that's seven forty. These are yeah. a little pricey. So what are we competing against? I mean, what is the market? Is there a market for for I guess um, booze-free cocktails, craft cocktails? Yeah, I think so. So what would you pay for craft co like craft cocktail? What's a normal craft cocktail cost? I would say on the low end, you're looking at nine. On the high end, you're probably looking at 15. And it, it can go higher than that, but I would say that's kind of a nice range. So do we know if they're, are they um, trying to approach businesses with these as something that they add so to their gotta, stock? Then you gotta mark it up. So then if they're, I guess they could do a wholesale price, right. so maybe. But um, I mean, let's say this was $10 on a menu. Correct. Um, it's, it's, it's decent. Now granted, there's two servings, Correct. so. And they're, they, they, they taste clean, they taste... There's obviously high quality ingredients in They've there. put effort into yeah. them. I mean, this tastes like real ginger. I'm really happy with the fact that it's not oversweetened. There's no added sugar as far as we know. I think that the website said zero added sugar. Specifically, no added sugar. So this is just whatever sugar from the fruit, you know, whatever fruit toast or whatever that's in here. Interesting stuff. I would say, check it out. Check it out once. If you like it, go for it. Um, price is a little bit of a turn off and um, yeah, I might need a little more pricey glass bottle, and it, which is oh, going to raise your cost. <laughs> well, and I'm curious, 
maybe there's a reason. You're curious? Maybe there's... No, that's coincidentally the name. Um, maybe there's a, a secondary reason to why the bottle is the way it is. Other than cost, I'm Low, saying. Like a lower carbon footprint type thing? Potentially, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're seeking to make a quality product, you're marketing it as non-GMO, recyclable, weight. no added sugar. There's a weight question, too. They market it as vegan-friendly. So, I mean, maybe they're looking for something that's more economic, mm -hmm. economical mm -hmm. on the environment, yeah. not only your wallet. But I still think, I'm glad they didn't go with plastic. Mm -hmm. Yep. But at the same time, I think the bottle needs a little work. Um, no customer should ever break a bottle, mm -hmm. unless it's intentional. Yeah, with um, a sword. <laughs> should we try to open one with a sword? Sure. <laughs> So it has been 10 minutes um, now that the bottle has been inverted in the ice. And uh, what are your, what's your hypothesis? I, I think we're gonna break the bottle lower than intended. I think we're okay. gonna spill product all over ourselves and have a great time. I think the whole thing is just gonna just be a bottle of just glass. You're just gonna just crush in our hands. Yeah. And we're gonna be bloody and mangled. Good, it's that's how I like my cocktails. It's gonna be great. Bloody and mangled. Safety first, kids. Yeah. I, I like my eyes and you should too. All right, you want me to do this? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna stand here and watch in awe. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the seam, the glass, the, the seam for the, uh, where the glass meets, and you're gonna run your blade, the black of your blade, right down that seam to hit the, the thing. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready to make history. All right, you wanna do a countdown? Uh, no, I just want you to do it. Three, two, one. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! That was great! That was better than oh opening it with the bottle opener. <laughs> wow! Look at that! There's no bits? No. So, I mean, if you compare that to the other bottle we broke... Oh my god! Like, it's a very clear, distinct difference. There's sharp, pointy bits all over this. This is a broken bottle. Yeah. This is properly sabered. Properly separated. Properly sabered. That's awesome. All I'm right. very happy with that outcome. Well, good. Well, um, I'm going to call that a success. Cool. Seth, thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. I will send this to you now to come edit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. If you like more of these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash nickdrinks. Follow us on Instagram at nickdrinks.com spelled out. You can find us on Facebook and all sorts of other cool stuff. Until next time. Cheers. Thanks. So there's there's quite a bit left. Yeah. Turn the camera on. Oh, nice. <laughs>